Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hans Sussi, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in Season 1. Last time we finished our water tank for the cooling. Um, I also dug out here the space for the actual cooling setup. But to make some progress here, we need steel and plastic. And for that, we started the setup here on this side to get a bit of uh, uh, desalinated water that we then use down here to get ourselves a bit of uh, oil. And that in turn should help us with the, uh, with the plastic. Right, that's the plan. Is it a good plan? Is it a bad plan? We will see. But at least we have a plan. So, here on this side. We need something like this. also need some pumps of a power issue because the potential load on this wire is too high and we have not yet connected everything to it so what I will do instead is have one of these here and then connect it up to here can break this block here and for this setup we will also have a dedicated transformer so all is good Also making some progress here on the uh, analysis of uh, this one. And okay, they have dug up all the way to here. Let's try to make our way over here see what we can see and also go up there oh there's there's a little something in here what is it a cool slush geyser more cool salt water And there is also something. Chlorine vent. Not that useful. But we do have 
one volcano, two volcanoes. So I have a feeling that taming these volcanoes will be the goal of uh, of this this season. As for the uh, other potential goal, building a large state statue out of steel. Um, we are definitely missing uh, the metal or the ores here on this asteroid. So that does not really sound that feasible. So let's do then what we can. Um, turn this around here. Hook it up, bring it down there, and connect it. All right then. And here on this side, no, that's not how. Uh, Lock works. That's more like it. Means this should actually be like that and we have it like so and then let down here then this will be more flooring. Mm. Actually, here we will also need to bring in power that's the uh, easiest way to do it how are we looking here okay so now we can plan out how to Bring this down. And let's bridge over here. Let's take another pipsqueak and put it in with the other ones so they can produce dirt for us. Okay, I feel we are getting closer to where we need to be. Um, let's have the ladder here on that side. We 
can have one oil pump here and on the uh, other sides And we need to extend this wire up here. And then have another distillator there. And we need a bit of uh, automation. Like so. Okay. Then us just go there okay this one is finished analyzing 10 kilograms of uh, salt water high temperatures 50 percent brand about um, for quite a good uh, period of time so yes that's all good um, then where we have the oil pump oil well it's in here let's put it down there Actually, no, 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 let's not do it that way. Um, we need a bit of space here. Then. We will have ladder going down on this side because I don't want the natural gas from down here to go up and of course we will need a, a water lock there which will not please the, the duplicants but Hey, that's how it is. Um, we do not need this branch down here. Now let's finish up this one. The monument would be a one of the initial goals, but uh, currently I don't see that happening uh, as um, we do not have any uh, um, iron supply or iron ore supply uh, because of the statue we need an immense amount of steel okay over here we again have something what is it another cool slush geyser 
Not really surprising. We made good progress with the pipe, I think. So let's bring that down to here. And then we need something like this there. And let's also make this solid here. Then we can go up to here because we also need to have a pipe for the oil <laughs> down here to to pump up, which means we also need power down there. And what I'm thinking maybe have a dedicated coal generator. Um, coal, coal, coal. We have 50 tons and at least currently not using that much because we do not need that much power. Uh, this is probably something that can change quite quickly. So, um, Let's heat up if it's below 10 degrees. And then I think we're good enough to, uh, to dig this, this one out. Maybe have a bit of wall there. So that if we have too much, if we produce or that the geyser produces too much uh, salt water, it does not spill spill over, uh, which means basically should bring up the wall to here because if the geyser is covered in fluid it will be blocked that's how we do it okay um, and can hook this up we need another these um, let's see what we have draglet egg yes let's let's take those gets more directly which will eventually turn to uh, to meat so here we will have salt water auto bottle and have a bit higher priority on it Okay, more 
research being completed. I have been wondering if I, for these water locks, if I could use salt water instead. The only problem is, uh, similar to the uh, polluted water, if it heats up, evaporates, uh, then it leaves uh, that case salt back which would destroy our lock uh, anyway so sink salt water would be an option there but let's try up here with salt water and probably needs we need a pitcher pump here. here digging down here there we get to the to the magma level Uh, and the natural gas is already already spilling out, but soon we should have a, a solid lock there. this up Need to clean that up How are we doing here on this side no progress up here probably it's just too far away for them to uh, be bottled okay, now we have the lock should be good yes it's a bit warm down there but eventually this will work out because uh, we can then produce plastic for a nice comfy bed so keep that in mind if you feel a bit warm but we will have to make progress in the next episode because we are already over 20 minutes. So hope you enjoyed it and see you then. Goodbye.